the wonderful world of superhero sex. Now you gotta wonder, here's a good thing for y'all women out there, right? Out of all the people you could choose from, like, you gotta think, wouldn't Ben 10 be the most versatile? Like, you gotta think, if you go with anyone, right, Ben 10, of all people, could legit become anything, right? And he could become anything that's considered an alien, right? So technically speaking, Superman is an alien. Most of the Green Lantern Corps is an alien. Sure, he's never met them in his show, but he says anything that's an alien that the Codex or Omnitrix, whatever the fuck it's called, looks at and scans, he can become. So he can obviously become Superman, he can become Goku. Literally, Ben 10 can be any alien, as long as they're aliens, any alien he wants. And he can do anything. Hell, if y'all into that, some of that freaky shit, I mean, you can shoot some of those aliens that are like multicolor and shit from his like fucking show, I guess. But I mean, I know y'all want to see some of like Goku's Dragon Balls going up inside y'all cooch like shit like that, you know. Now, me personally, I wouldn't choose... Ben 10, if I, if I had to choose, like, oh, go for Ben 10, I don't think I would choose Ben 10 as someone I'd go for. I think someone I would choose, someone I would choose is Danny Phantom, right? Because, one, you get a really nice black and white suit. I mean, if anyone tells you that that suit doesn't look cool, they're lying, one. And two, you have the ability to take over people's bodies, right? I mean, the possibilities are endless! That shit's so fucking cool, man! Although, it kind of sucks, because, well, he could split his body, but then it was, that was a really weird episode of Danny Phantom. I guess you could split your body in two, and, like, if your girl's into that threesome shit, you can split your body into two, because Danny Phantom could do that in one episode. I forgot the repercussions, though, of doing it. But he could split it into two bodies. Hey, man, put two and two together and figure out what I'm talking about there, you know? Now... Here's an interesting person, right? Here's a good one. Have a girlfriend who's mystique. Oh, man. Dude, and now you can pull that whole shit of, oh, Raven looks good enough as she is. Listen here, motherfucker. I'm pretty sure no one wants to go out there fucking some girl from the Blue Man Group, okay? No one wants that. But, I mean, if she comes up and she's looking like, I don't know, fucking Scarlett Johansson, fucking Miranda Cosgrove, or fucking uh, Selena Gomez, she coming out as one of those? I mean, shit, think about it. Honestly, there's nothing else you need. She literally can become anyone that you want. Hell, even if you wanted her to be outlandish, you could be like, oh, you know what? Today, be Katara from Avatar. Oh, shit, you could do that. Okay, be um, older Gwen from Ben 10 Alien Force. Oh, okay. Uh, be Miranda Cosgrove from My Carla. Oh, shit, I'm gonna need a minute. I need a few minutes with you for a sec. Let me tell you. Yeah, now. Like, Mystique could do anything! And then, technically speaking, there was a storyline. It's funny that I know all these storylines, it's really weird. Okay, so back in the day, in the 90s, there was an interesting comic book thing that was going on with uh, this guy named Cliff. Uh, I'm fucking up. <laughs> I'm fucking up! Okay, so back in the day, there was this guy named Chris Claremont. He was writing X-Men. He was like, one, he's like, when you think of X-Men, you think of Chris Claremont. The most popular X-Men stories happen to just be made by him. And so at one point or another, he wanted Nightcrawler to be the son of Mystique. But at the time, Mystique was like, you know, hinted at having a female lover, right? And so what happened was it was like, how the fuck is, you know, Nightcrawler going to be their child? Apparently what was going to happen was Chris Claremont wanted to have Mystique turn into a guy, have sex with her female lover, get her pregnant, and then they'd have Nightcrawler as a kid. It's just saying that sounds weird. But, I mean, technically speaking, Mystique could do it. So, I mean, even for the girls, if they wanted some Superman-looking appearance, they wanted Tony Stark-looking appearance, because apparently everyone in the earlier movies just wanted to fuck him. If you wanted Chris Evans-looking appearance, which is Captain America for those that, you know, are uncultured swine, um, you could have that. Mystique could turn into anything. Now, that's an interesting question, though, when, it, when you think about it. If you're a girl, and you go with Mystique, but she becomes a dude and has a dick... Is that gay? I'm not finna cap, I just confused myself even asking that question. <laughs> cause I mean... It... I mean, cause if Chris Claremont claims that if she had sex with a girl and she was a like, guy... That, and she has sperm that works... Then... But she's still a... It's so confusing! 
Now, imagine if you're a fucking girl <laughs> and you decide to fuck with the juggernaut, right? Because the juggernaut, literally the only time that I've ever heard the juggernaut have sex, right? And the reason why I've heard of this was because it was very controversial when it came out. Was he had sex with She-Hulk. And the reason why he had sex with She-Hulk, if you guys don't know who She-Hulk is, she's the cousin of Hulk, and she got a blood transfusion because she got shot. Well, she was at a court case that involved the juggernaut, and after the court case was done, she fucked the juggernaut. Because, <laughs> you know, if anyone's going to fuck a basic walking tank, it's going to be a female Hulk, you know? So you got to think, like, Imagine if a regular girl fucking messed with the Juggernaut, right? Because the Juggernaut's power is, once he starts moving, he can't be stopped. Not even the Hulk, Thor. I don't even think Superman can stop him when he starts running. Which is really weird when you think about it. His power is no one can stop him once he runs. Only he can stop himself. Imagine if he decides to fucking ram the shit out of a girl. And he's like coming towards her like, boom, boom, boom. And she's like, oh shit. And then he just fucking pile drives her through the fucking wall. He wouldn't be able to stop because he just got too much momentum on him. Dude, she's just there like, and he's just there like, I'm trying to stop, I'm trying to stop, I'm trying to stop. Like, he can't stop, he can't turn. So he's just gonna be running into fucking walls if he's in a fucking city. Like, you gotta be out in the woods for that. And even for then, you'd probably be hitting trees. Like, the girl's fucking dead. Like, it's just over. Now, here's a good one. Storm. Storm from the X-Men. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, baby girl. Ooh, I, I, I'm i not usually into black girls, but let me tell you, man. Mm. Girl, shit. Man, she calls herself a goddess. Mm, 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 mm. Let me tell you, man. If Storm came up to here and was like, yo... What you say? I'm gonna be like, shit, baby girl, you call yourself a goddess? I think your, I think your fine ass self needs a god. Let me show you how to do it. Mm. I'm gonna show her who the true king of Wakanda is. Mm. Wakanda forever. <laughs> but yeah, like go, go ham on that shit, man. And she could do anything. Like just imagine, you're fucking in the sky. The girl can control the weather. She can put put a little mini hurricane underneath you, and you're literally fucking on cloud nine. Like, dude, the possibilities! She can make the fucking clouds legit so tough, so hard, that you can't face through them. You're legit fucking on cotton clouds. Dude, do you know how that would feel? Fuck going back to memory foam after that. You need, fuck, you need to sleep in the clouds now. Like, shit, that would be fucking lit. Then it would suck, though, because if she fucking orgasms, if she loses control of her weather, then uh, you're, you're going to have a nice time falling back to the ground, let me tell you. Now, you gotta wonder, there's this character named Jubilee, right? Now, Jubilee's powers, right? She's also from the X-Men. Um, Jubilee's powers are really fucking weird. She has the power of... Fireworks? I think? Like, to be honest, I'm not really sure what her powers are, but I'm pretty sure they're, like, shooting fireworks, like, shooting fireworks sparks and shit. It's really fucking weird. Imagine if you're fucking the shit out of her, right? And she's like, oh my god, oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, and then she just climaxes, right? But when she climaxes, you know, coming from, you know, her, her vagina, you know, she fucking climaxes, her firework power, you know, starts up. Imagine that, dude, your fucking dick's in her vagina, and her fucking vagina just starts shooting out fireworks. My nigga, you ain't gonna have a dick after that, I hope the pussy was worth it. Like, shit, like, you're legit gonna have to be Wolverine and fuck her if you're gonna try to survive with your dick, cause I mean, shit. Dude, oh god, fuck that, man, shit. Like, oh god, I couldn't do that. If Jubilee's powers were fi- like, I think they are fireworks. If she just started fireworking all over your dick, I'm sorry, you ain't gonna have a dick when you're done. You either be Deadpool, or Wolverine, or the fucking Man of Steel, or you ain't walking away with your dick, that's just how it's gonna be. Now, I know we talked about this in the first superhero sex video that I made, but, <clears throat> you know, if you watch the Incredible Hulk movie, right, the one with Edward Norton, if you don't know who that is, just go watch the first Hulk film in the MCU, uh, 2008, he says that he can't have sex with his, you know, girlfriend, because if he gets too excited, he'll turn into the Hulk, right? Which one doesn't make sense, because the Hulk is literally only able to come out based on anger, not on an excitement or heart rate. It's literally, you get pissed, he comes out. That's how it's always been. And so your heart rate can go up, but it doesn't mean shit. Like, unless you're pissed, whatever. So apparently in the MCU, if he gets horny, he gets really horny, you know, he turns into the Hulk. <clears throat> 
So imagine that. Imagine he's just fucking the shit out of his girl, right? And he's like, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, I don't know why he's not in the end, just bear with it. Oh my god, oh my god, I fucking love this. And then he just says, me horny. And he just turns into the fucking Hulk and he's like, me horny. <laughs> Let me tell you, the Hulk finna smash. Like shit, you ain't gonna live. Hmm. <laughs> Like, off rip, this might sound fucked up. The only way that someone would be able to survive having sex with the Hulk is if you're She-Hulk, which is his cousin. Which, oddly enough, they have had sex in an alternate universe called Old Man Logan. And if you read that comic, basically Hulk got a bunch of radiation to his brain, went nuts, and, well, he, um... Yeah, he, he, he did some Alabama shit, let me tell you. So much Alabama shit that the Alabama shit transferred over to his fucking children. And they became Alabama. They were redneck as fuck. Like, I swear to God, as soon as you saw them little redneck motherfuckers walking all over the desert, I swear to God, the first thing that would come to your mind is, Sweet home Alabama. Like, that's the first thing I thought of when I read that comic book. Why am I talking country now? Shit. <laughs> I just realized I was bringing that shit out. But anyway, so with that, guys, when I saw one of my videos to close, don't forget to like this video if you did, don't share this one more video your friends, don't forget to subscribe, talk about stories, more vlog type shit like this, and yeah, so thank you guys for this one more video to close, I'm Killzone Zone, and I'm out for now, peace.